Growing up, I believed I had to be obedient and nice to everyone and do the right thing, be polite all the time. At school and even at home, we're constantly taught to be the good girl. Sit with your legs crossed, don't make a noise, don't break any rules, do what you're told. That's the messaging that we're constantly fed as girls and it's hard not to internalize it. And all of this might even work great at school because the system at school works in such a way that you're rewarded for obedience. You get those gold stars, you get the pat on your back, you're the teacher's favorite. I was so sucked into this role of being the good girl that not only did everyone else expect me to always be the good girl, I, in my own head, saw myself as the good girl. So I put myself in that role. I was always being that person and I thought that that was how I ought to be. Honestly, I think as women, we are made to believe that our worth lies in how other people see us. And so it's still tempting to be that people pleaser who wants the gold star. It's hard to break out of that conditioning. But I realized that what this temperament led to was a chronic need to please people, a complete inability to say no, an intense distaste for criticism, and this obsessive and quite destructive perfectionism, as well as non-stop guilt. Like, I would feel guilty if I had a good time. I would feel guilty even if I was sleeping. But through my late 20s, as I've become a little bit more self-aware and in touch with myself, I've realized how unhelpful this is for my growth and progress. And so I wanted to share a few things that I do, that I've started to do, that might be helpful to you too, if you're also trying to get better at putting yourself first. Number one, Ask for what you want and deserve. I used to be so bad at negotiating or talking about money or a salary and all of that stuff. I used to think it was impolite or embarrassing to ask for a raise. Maybe I'd be perceived of as greedy, but that is not how the world works. If you don't ask, you don't get. And I really think sometimes our own lack of self-esteem is what limits our potential rather than anything else. So you have to just have full conviction that you deserve better, you deserve more. There's nothing embarrassing about being ambitious or wanting what's good for you, but it took me a startlingly long time to get to that realization. Okay, number two, think for yourself. As a good girl, you can be so used to following instructions and doing things according to other people's requirements that it can actually be really intimidating. Where you're the decision maker and you have to decide what needs to get done, and you have to be the leader, it can be a huge challenge if you're used to being that person who just follows the rules and pleases your boss or teacher or parent. I've started really pushing myself to think for myself, what do I believe in, what do I want, what do I like? Because those were questions that I often never even considered when completing a task as long as I was able to please whoever I was completing the task for. It's really, really rewarding. It can be so joyful to successfully do something that's just for you and the way you want to do it. Even though it isn't easy, it's super rewarding. Third thing, learn to say no and say it often. It is incredible how hard it can be if you're a good girl to just say no. It's such a simple word, practice saying it. I literally have tried now to say it as much as I can. Just say no. When you don't want to do something, say no. I struggled with it so much. It was so hard for me to just say no. Even when something was so inconvenient or really, really not good for me, if someone asked me for something or if someone expected me to do something, I would always agree. You know, because what are good girls supposed to do? Quietly agree, put their heads down and get the job done, right? No. <laughs> So I highly, highly encourage you, if you too suffer from good girl syndrome, to say no and say it often. On a related note, stand your ground. I think when people know that you're this accommodating, kind, nice person, they often try, even if it's subconscious, they will often try and affect your decisions or your life trajectory or whatever it is. It could be parents, it could be colleagues, it could be significant others. When they know you're the one who's always happy to do whatever it takes to keep the peace, or you're the one who's really adjustable, you know, always happy to do whatever everyone else wants to do, then often you're the one whose needs never get met. And people will, even if they don't mean it, you know, sometimes it's people who love you and care for you, but since you're the good girl and they're used to you being the good girl, often they will try and impact your decisions or your choices or give you an opinion on how they think you should lead your life because it'll benefit them 
not necessarily thinking about what's best for you. And so I just think it's really important that all of us be good girls, remind ourselves that there is no shame in standing up for your own values, your own belief system and leading the life that you want to live. You don't have to do what other people expect you to do all the time. And finally, drop the perfectionism. I think another thing good girls waste a lot of time on is obsessive perfectionism. Just always feeling like you're not good enough, what you're doing isn't good enough, it has to be better, it has to be perfect. And the thing is that nothing is perfect, right? Firstly, most value judgments are subjective. And secondly, it's rarely ever going to be great or anywhere near perfect the first time you do something. But if you're constantly afraid of making mistakes or afraid of failing, then often that's going to get in the way of your progress because mistakes are part of life and you learn from them. But it took me so long to be okay with not getting something right or someone not liking what I've done. And I think there's this tendency also to compare yourself with others or compare yourself with others who have been doing something for a very long time even when you're just starting out. Instead of doing things, you get scared and you just don't do anything because you're afraid of making mistakes or failing. And what could be more damaging than that, right? Where are we going to learn if we're not even going to try? And so I think dropping the perfectionism and just being kinder to yourself, allowing yourself to make mistakes, it doesn't have to be perfect the first time. Telling myself that was hugely liberating. I just realized for myself that it's time to stop being a good girl and start being a strong girl. So have fun, say no, do what you want to do. I hope that this video is inspiring and helpful to you guys. Please share your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Till next time.